Hey Zach and Jeremy, if you haven't figured out what this is, this will help you uh, climb mountains. And you guys, I think, are going to need it for the next few weeks. So, coffee, it's good. Alright, it's getting exciting now. We're less than a week away from build day, October 1st. I know some of you guys have already started, which is awesome. Seeing, again, some unbelievable things out there uh, from a bunch of different uh, uh, yard haunters, pro haunters. Um, so keep up the good work. Um, I am going to start on Saturday morning, bright and early. I actually have uh, help coming this year for the first time on Sunday, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, in this vlog, I'm going to go through a couple of things that I'm still working on. I'm building walls uh, for the inside of the garage. Um, so there's a bunch of different stuff. Uh, and then I think I end with uh, what I was finishing up on tonight, which is um, doing some gravestone engraving, which probably shouldn't have done this late in the evening because they just they didn't come out that good so I'll probably be redoing them my favorite thing to do anyway hope all is well with you guys and uh, keep up the good work and so I want to give you guys a look at the brains I guess of the operation for the cellar doors uh, I know I've been intimidated about this, but it actually wasn't that bad. It was uh, pretty easy to, to put together. My biggest issue was how to power this off from this while going to this. As I am not an electrician, um, I didn't understand the concept of cutting the wire and putting a, a, a wire in over here. Um, so taking half of the power cord and plugging it in here. That makes sense to me now, and it actually works. Um, so I will go through kind of real briefly. Basically the nerve center um, has a part to it, which isn't plugged in, um, where my thumb is, of course. Um, that goes down to the step pad. When the step pad is activated, it... It powers from here um, to the solenoid, which is here, which activates the prop. Um, the control box also has an internal recording system, so it actually records sound, um, and the sound will go off at the same time as the solenoid. Um, so it's pretty cool. I think I'm going to add a light to it. I'm going to try that. Um, so all in all, when it's finished, We'll have a, the door start to shake, um, somebody screaming, because I'm going to record, actually record my wife screaming, and then um, a light will go off inside of the cellar doors. So hopefully everything will work right, and that's all triggered by somebody stepping on the step pad, which I think I'm going to put under like a carpet, so um, it's not noticeable. Alright guys, today's the day. I'm going to get a lot of projects, small projects done and knock them off my completed list. I've got stuff spread everywhere. I'm even hoping to get my wife involved today. We shall see. Um, just to run through these real quick, uh, I'm looking to dry lock uh, these four tombstones. The fourth one's under that piece of styrofoam. Uh, and then get the engraving done, the epitaph and then start painting them. This is my trick-or-treat guy. I'm hoping to glue him up, of course, when I go to get my glue. Uh, it's all dried up from the year before because I'm not a plumber and it just sits on my, uh, on my messy um, shelving over there. I need to get the programming done for um, these cellar doors to get those completed. Um, Got a new hose. Um, 
these are some haunt panels for inside of the garage I'm working on. I am going to try to do most of them in styrofoam just because it's usually just me putting them up and uh, it really cuts down on the weight. I'm actually reinforcing them on the sides and still toying with how they're going to be put together but um, that's that. Oh, the uh, styrofoam tombstone I thought was under there actually is right here. Um, I'm gluing on a skull. My nephew did this and uh, came out really good. Better than I could have done. So anyway, it's gluing. Alright guys, it's later on in the afternoon and I'm whooped. I got uh, a couple of things done. I didn't get through everything that I wanted to but um, this was a guy I was working on today. Um, it's going to be a kid trick-or-treater. Um, essentially, he'll be, uh, he'll, he or she will be in the graveyard. Uh, I figured like a ghost type outfit, a sheet over him with uh, blacked out eye holes. Um, holding a pumpkin candy like thing in his hand. Um, and it will have his hand reach out to touch a more realistic ghost. Um, I ordered hands from uh, Ghost Ride Productions. I don't know if any of you guys have ever ordered anything from them, but their, their uh, hands and heads and everything are about as realistic as you can get. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to give you the progress on the panels. Um, Got most of them painted. This was kind of the color scheme I was going for, and then I've got a um, border that's going to go down the middle. I've got one more to do here in blue, uh, but I was running out of this color red, so I thought I would do them now. Um, Not as many as the uh, Bloodshed Brothers, but um, I think I'm going to do five or six more. Um, we'll see. They're hard and they take a lot of time. I got to re glue this one down. It came apart. That was something I was afraid of. I think I'm going to um, screw down through the foam into the, um, into the wood to avoid this from happening. Uh, I have been moving them around a lot so they're a little bit fragile. That's my only concern being in the haunt is uh, somebody backing up into them but I figure they're made out of foam so the worst they're gonna do is uh, you could literally push the side of your way if it, if it was to fall down so I keep looking at the wood in the store it's just for a one-man show it's just too much for me right now so I may do one or two wood but uh, that'll be for I've got a picture I want to put on a wall and do kind of a drop panel um, from that picture so I thought I'd do that one in wood oh I also want to show you these um, I've been doing the bases today for these I haven't gotten around to painting them yet but uh, All right, guys, um, I want to show you this. I've been trying to find some material that's lighter than plywood to be able to use for my walls. I found this stuff today. I don't know if any of you guys have used it. Don't even know what it's called. It's kind of like a thick, thick, thick cardboard woodish type material, but it's pretty light. I'm lifting it up with, well, lifting it up with one hand, so it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, what I'm going to do, if you want to follow me out here, is I'm going to glue uh, wood to the back and then I'm going to screw it in from the front. So I'm hoping it'll be pretty strong, uh, but allow me to move stuff by myself. So that's the project for tonight. Uh, I also want to show you guys how the tombstones are coming along. 
think I've shown you that one already. Um, and then I've got this one, which I'm going to, um, I've taped the letters on. I just got to burn them in. I'm nuts. I don't go too crazy with the sayings, but I thought that was pretty funny. And then I did a Here Lies Crazy Ray on that one. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. About four more days and we got to start building. So I got to move all this crap. But most of it goes in the yard, so it shouldn't be so bad. All right, I'm sort of finished carving. I probably shouldn't have done this tonight. I'm tired and I kind of rushed, especially this one. I know you guys can't even probably see what that says. Mm, I may actually do that one over. I don't know. And that one's not very clear either. That one's pretty good, but then I'm not going to do any writing on this. I did fill these bases with foam, um, and then I'll cut around them with a um, hot tool.